Welcome to Axiom Portal Software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make changes to and to access your web interface. Your web interface can be accessed, of course, through your mobile devices as well as PCs that are sitting on your network. The way you would do that, the first thing you would do, I've already started a project here. I bought an 800 in. And on the 800, the first thing you want to do is find out the network information. The way you do that is simply go to the network tab here. And once you do that, it will actually show you the actual IP address of your network uh, right there. Uh, you want to make sure you always have a static IP address, of course, with the Axiom system. Okay, once you have that IP address, you can just simply go ahead and copy it if you want to. What you want to do is go ahead and open up a web browser. We'll make sure that, of course, this is a PC that's sitting on the same network as the uh, 800 or 400. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and paste that IP address uh, right in the little window here. Once you do that, you go ahead and hit Enter. And it will bring you up to your web interface. And that's pretty much how you access it. Okay, so from here, from the web interface, what you can do, you can actually go ahead and go to a zone on a zone you can actually see all of your sources and on your sources here uh, for instance if I go to the media tab here the media tab will actually uh, let me see what I'm looking at now is the actual USB uh, that I have plugged into the front of the Axiom 800 of course the USB is only available on the 800 but what I'm looking at here from the media tab on there is the actual uh, playlists uh, that I have there and these are the actual songs that are on that playlist if I had NAS drives or computer drives or anything else they would all show up on this list here but getting back to the web interface uh, from here you can see I can get to my CD player my tuner my DVD my sources as well as I can go to a settings page on here uh, which allowed me to have more control uh, be able to control my bass my treble uh, my maximum gain my volume this allowed in this setting a mono uh, setting as well and I could also set up delays for each piece of uh, equipment that's uh, within that zone I can go back here now one thing you notice about this when I hit the CD button or tuner button or DVD button it's letting me switch to those sources but I don't have control um, now what we want to do is actually add controls for these devices here so we want to actually start and play that CD player the way you do that is this, we're going to go ahead and go back to our Axiom software here. Now within the 800 and 400, these are the actual web pages right here. If I click on one right here, I can see that there's nothing in my actual pages for control. The way I'm going to add control is this. I know that that's my CD player there. So I'm simply going to go ahead to my CD player, which I have uh, parked right over here. I'll go ahead and lock that in so I can get a hold of those commands there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag some commands in right into the box here. I'm going to have a play command and a stop command and uh, we'll grab a pause command. Uh, maybe a couple of more. Uh, we'll do a skip forward and a skip reverse. And I could also add icons to this as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead to my gallery here. I'm going to go to my drop down. I'm going to go ahead to icons. What I'm going to do is grab a couple of icons just to show you that you can put icons on these things as well. You don't have to just go with the with the words or the phrases there. And I'm just going to uh, just going to grab a couple just to let you see what we got going here. We'll go ahead and drop that on there. Uh, okay. So once you go ahead and do that, now we'll, remember we're just setting up something on the CD page here. Now you can do this for the tuner page, the Direct TV page, the DVD page, any device that you have that you want to add control to. You can go ahead and do it this exact same way. Once you do that, this is now going to be our CD page. Just simply go ahead and re-upload your project there. Anytime you click on that there, and yeah, that's the actual 800 and this is the upload button here. I'm going to go ahead and just upload that project. Now once you do that, it will tell you to go ahead and refresh your browser. Okay, and you click OK there. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our browser here. And we're going to go ahead and refresh. After we refresh, you see the icons and buttons that we just added to our system? 
they are now within our system now. So remember, we didn't have anything on TuneIn, but we did add something to CD. And you would do that for all of your pages as well, uh, to go ahead and add devices, uh, add functionality to your devices. And we'll go ahead and do, do one more just for the exercise here. We're going to do something for Tuner here. Once again, we're going to go back uh, right here to our Axiom Photo software, go to our Tuner page. I'm going to go ahead and pull up our tuner that we have here and see what commands that we have for our tuner. Okay. And we're going to make it pretty simple. We're going to lock this one in and we're going to drop this one out for the CD player so we don't get confused. We're going to grab a tuner down and uh, tuner up. How about an AM and an FM there? And if we want, once again, we can grab some sort of icon, see if we have anything that kind of pertains to that. We'll grab this little jukebox just for the heck of it. And we'll put on our little tuner down there just to show you that we can add icons to these. Okay. Once again, we'll go ahead. We're going to highlight uh, 800 there, and we're going to go ahead and upload to that. Once again, it tells us to refresh our browser. We'll go back to our browser here, and we're going to refresh here. Now the information that we put on the tuner page is there. Now we have a tuner down, a tuner up. And you remember, I put an icon on the tuner down there. Okay, one more feature to your actual web browser here is this. If you go up to here, and I'm going to go ahead and backspace until I get to just a backslash. If you type in the word config and hit enter, takes you to a different level of your web browser. Your web browser here it takes you to your device information. Your device information, as you can see right here, um, tells me what device I'm using here. It gives me uh, my, my network information, my MAC address, even the temperature of my unit at the time. Here, I can actually go right here and change my, my uh, network information, my Ethernet information right here. And go static or DHCP, or I can actually go ahead and manipulate and change that information there. Here I can change my daylight savings time and change where I am in the world by going ahead and uh, clicking that to change my time zone. Sources allows you to go ahead and change your sources, change the gain level of your sources here. Also, my zones, I can reassign uh, zone locations here. I can also assign my keypads to different ports. Uh, so say keypad 1 is not actually keypad 1 and port 1. It could be keypad 10 or whatever you desire. You can make those changes here. Also, I can add stuff to my media uh, service here. I can add media service. I can add NAS drives by simply adding and going ahead and putting in a path. The same way you would do in the software, but you could do it within this web interface. Here I can do some IR routing as well. I can uh, pick and choose and decide which outputs have access to which devices. So if I want to, say, put a kiddo restriction or something, I can simply go here and hit a none button and eliminate all of the sources that uh, he would have access to in that particular zone or on that particular keypad. There's also a diagnostic log uh, in this web interface here. So it allows you to uh, kind of figure out things that are going wrong with your system. Any errors will show up in the error report. You do have an events log that shows the events happening at different times. Perfect diagnostic tool. And that's your web interface. And, uh, that's how you would access your web interface from the Action Portal software.